Let's take a look about when we take a closer look at our interactive window, we also have buttons and forms. I open up my buttons and my forms. Here I can make links throughout my document. What I'm going to do as I take a look at the layout of this project is I'm going to have a link from this page to the elements and a link to principles. So I begin with my type and I grab my type tool and I am going to type elements going to make this larger. I'm not going to use the script font for my buttons. I always want to make sure that when I choose a type for buttons that it is very legible. Script font tends to be more decorative. I stylize my font and I'm going to continue to work with American typewriter. I'm going to make my buttons for this first page 44 points. I begin with elements and I want to change it to the color that I used inside of the elements and principles of design. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to unselect this here. I'm going to sample this color that I have and I'm going to go to window and I'm going to open up my colors and I want to make sure that I save this color to my library. So one more time, I come to window, I come to color, and I'm going to open up my swatches. And I'm going to make sure that I save this color inside of my swatches. So now it becomes very easy when I come and I click on to the word elements. I can change the color here by just clicking in my swatches. I have elements. I'm going to make this page link when I click it to page two. So I begin by doing this. I have it selected again. I can change the size of my box, which is very smart. If you have things over overlapping, it will, the link will apply to the entire box. So for instance, if I made this box really big, when I hovered in this area, the link would be there as well. This becomes a problem when you have multiple links on a page and they're overlapping. I go to my elements and I have my buttons and I'm going to choose and apply a button. I'm going to make this a button. I can give it the word elements if I'd like to. I can also just stick with button one. Again, I know this is a button. I can see the little symbol for a button. Just like we see the symbol for an animation here, we have the symbol for a button. I am going to leave it for on release or tap, and I'm going to add my actions. I am going to say to this that I want it to go to a page. And for this one, it's going to go to page two. Now I can also choose different things that are going to happen. So I could say, okay, on rollover, I want this to change color. Once I add the page that I want it to go to, I'm going to hit return. Now I'm going to add my rollover. I'm going to come, I'm going to hover, I'm going to select this, and I'm going to go for a blue. Wonderful. Now let's take a closer look. I could also choose something to happen on click. I'm going to go back to the purple color on click. I come to normal, roll over, click. Now I'm going to take a preview. Again, I can click at the bottom left, my little preview screen. I can see that this fades in. And when I hover over, I get to my elements, which will bring me to page two. Now to preview this and make sure that it really works, I am going to export it as an EPUB. So I come to file, export, and I'm going to choose an EPUB fixed layout. I give it a name. I hit okay and I open up my project. I can see that it has opened. I click onto elements and it takes me to page two. I do not have anything on page two yet, but it takes me to page two.